Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. Windows Firewall allows you to create custom rules and allowing or blocking apps from accessing your network. If you don't want to lose any of the current firewall settings after reinstalling or you need to migrate the firewall exceptions on a new PC, it is a good idea to make a backup of your firewall rules. This is also important in case you're going to do changes underneath firewalls and you don't want to mess it up. So in this video we're going to be showing you how to pretty much export or import the firewall policies in Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's going to be a couple options. One can be done by simply just opening up the Windows firewall and advanced security policy settings in there. And the second one pretty much go open up command prompt. They'll both be done the same way that can be useful. Regardless, go ahead and show you the first one. So on the search bar, or if you pretty much go to start and you search on the search bar, you pretty much all you have to do is type in called wf.msc. And it pretty much brings up this. It looks weird. Just go ahead and select it. And this pretty much takes us to the Windows Defender firewall and advanced security. Once you get to there, just go to the right side and I'll see something called export policy. Go ahead and select it. And depending where you want to save it, if you have want to save it on a flash drive, you'll pretty much go to this PC, find your flash drive, select it. I'm pretty much going to save mine on the desktop. And whatever you want to name it, pretty much I'm going to name mine pretty much backup firewall. I'm trying to spell that for a bit. There it is. And pretty much I'm going to put a dash to there just to make it look cool. That's how I like it. And I'm going to hit and press save. And now pretty much the pretty much the backup has been exported from the policies. Now, once you get to there, technically you have your file saved on a flash drive, wherever you have it, or on a CD, I don't know where the heck you're gonna save it on, maybe in OneDrive, maybe in your cloud somewhere. Regardless, it's saved, and now you're pretty much gonna go to restart. So again, you'll go to start, and you'll go to new computer, and you're pretty much gonna go ahead and type in wf.msc. I tried my spell for a second, msc, and there it is. Again, open the file takes to the same location and again you'll instead of exporting you'll pretty much press the import policy and I tell us like a warning you're gonna be doing overriding everything that's currently set on this so that is important so if you want to make a backup from the other one before you do changes to the other pretty much now, all you're gonna do is press yes and go ahead and select for the file wherever you have it saved so you have it on a flash drive look for a flash drive you have it saved underneath the desktop it's there too it all depends where you have it at and then go ahead and press open the file and it'll pretty much will tell you that the policy has successfully imported and it's pretty much set. And that's pretty much what I have to do for that options for it. Now the second option is pretty simple too. We're going to be doing this through command prompt. Now there is a policy for this. For this, You do have to be sure that you are running command prompt as administrator. If you don't run as administrator, this policy may not even work for you trying to create a backup. So on the search bar or open up the start menu regardless you get to there, type in CMD and you should see command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. Again, you have no clue how many times I have to tell this to people and yet they still do not do that. Regardless, run as administrator and you'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. And then it should look like this. What we're going to do is type in net sh space adv firewall space export. Now we're going to put, um, if I'm correctly, I think it's quotations right here, quotation, and we're going to type in C colon slash, that's pretty much the C drive, and we're going to name the file wherever you want it to be called. So I'm going to name mine called backup dash firewall, and we're going to put a period, and again, it has to be a WFW for the format type. And we're going to close pretty much the quotation, and now pretty much it's set. So I'm going to do is pretty much press enter. And this is okay. Now where we typed it as C drive is right there. Now technically you could save this anywhere if you have it like on a flash drive, like an F drive or a G or something like that, you'll just select that location. Regardless, it's saved in C drive, then you can copy it after. So if I go to C drive, well, this PC, or technically if you go to explore, I mean I have it on your desktop, then go to this PC and then there's C drive, you'll see the file that got backed up and there it is. Now if you have it on a flash drive, something like that, you'll have to find the location and that will pretty much do the work for you. So technically, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I'm gonna put it on desktop, okay? So now it's in a different location and it's gonna prompt me go ahead and press yes. So now when you come on here, you're gonna be like, where's, where's it at that you need to import? So it's not gonna be in the same location that we did the backup. So I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much type in the same thing where you see the net.sh space adv firewall. I'm gonna type in import 
I know we're gonna put the pretty much the um what was it again quotation on there, and you would think it's under a C drive, but remember I changed the location, so it's not gonna be in regular C drive. My location right now is underneath. If I show you this correctly, it's under C drive, then users, and the name of the current user that you are using mine's user, and underneath desktop. So this is a humongous list right here. And there's the file. So if you have it on a flash drive, you would have to do the same thing too. If you have a flash drive that's underneath F or G or H or something like that, a CD drive, regardless, you have to type in the type on there. So if it was like an F on a flash drive, you'd have to type it in. You get the point for it. Mine's still underneath the C drive. And mine's going to be underneath users, space, the folder named user. And then pretty much mine is saved underneath the desktop. And then the name, I'm going to put a slash backslash again and I need to previously name the file what it's called so mine it literally is very case sensitive okay so I name it backup dash firewall and again it's a what was it again WFW I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and see if this will import it and it says okay so it is now imported and it is set now if you don't really care about this and you didn't want to import it or export it like this if you just had a problem here underneath the command prompt, you actually do a pretty much simple one. I'm going to show you anyway. Also, just type in net sh, and we're just going to type in adv firewall, and pretty much we're going to type in reset, and press enter. And this will also reset the regular firewall settings if you wanted that too. I just wanted to show you this cool one underneath command prompt two for it, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.